Hi, welcome back to McClatchy Maths. My name is Natalie McClatchy and today I'm taking you through 2021's general maths paper in Queensland. It's paper one, so I'm going to be looking at a multiple choice question and a short response question on the topic specifically of time series. Let's get straight into it. This is our multiple choice question. The second smooth value for the three point moving average is, and then you're given a table. So the very first thing you need to do is to read the question carefully because it's very tempting when you are looking at multiple choice questions to try and race through, particularly if you're feeling a little bit anxious. And this was the very first question on the paper. So it could be very easy to make the mistake of just calculating the three point moving average for the first three numbers um, and then to just jump straight into that and make that your answer. It's also tempting to waste a lot of time as well and to do the three point moving num um, moving averages for all the numbers which is not necessary at all. We only need the second one so this is our first smooth value here and our second smooth value is this set here. So once you understand that you're only looking for the second set you can save a lot of time. So all we need to do is find the average of these three numbers. So we're going to add those together and divide by three and we get 60 divided by three, which is 20. So we can straight away pick the correct option, which is C. Okay, so that was an easy one. Let's move on now to the short response question. The population of fish in a fish farm pond was recorded every three months. The graph shows the data. Describe the time series plot by identifying three key features. And this was worth three marks, one mark for each feature. Now it's very tempting to write a book. You don't need to write a book. When you see time series, you just need to tell a short story, which is basically just a paragraph. They're only looking for three features here. Now, if you see more than three features, it's um, probably a good idea to put that fourth one down just in case, or even to elaborate a little bit more because you never know if the marks are gonna be allocated to the elaboration or to a very brief dot point. In the case of the marking scheme, it's actually just a very brief dot point. So the very first point was that this is a non-linear growth. You can see that because it's drawn as a curve. Um, if it was drawn as a straight line, then you would be concluding that was linear form. Okay, the second one is that we can see an overall upward trend and that was enough to get the mark was to say that overall it was growing upwards. Although typically when you're in an exam, it's a good idea to explain where it started at approximately 500 fish and ended with approximately 1,000 fish. That tells a little bit more of a story, obviously not necessary for the mark here, but you never know if you're in your internal exams at school if the teacher's actually awarding marks for that extra little bit of information. So a little bit of extra doesn't hurt. And the third feature that the QCAA was looking for here was seasonal pattern. Um, that's showing that there are troughs once a year in the first quarter of the year, that's that little bit of elaboration as well, and those peaks or highs in that third quarter of the year. And that's how we know it's seasonality is because it's the same repeated pattern every year. Whereas it, you could have concluded maybe that it was cyclical. And I see a lot of students getting cyclical and seasonal confused. You really can't conclude it's cyclical because you need a lot more than four years to decide if something is a cycle or not because it's a repetition every few years to demonstrate a cycle, whereas seasonality is within one year. So if you just remember, seasonality is short term. They both start with S, short term being within 12 months, whereas cyclical is long term. Well, we've covered those two questions quite quickly. I hope you found that helpful. If it was helpful, why not tell a friend, tell your teacher, or like and subscribe to the channel and tell us in the comments. You could even follow us on social media on Facebook and Instagram. And if you've got any questions about what you saw today, you can contact me on mass at yahoo.com or send us a message via Instagram and Facebook. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope this was really helpful to you. I'm Natalie McClatchy. Stay tuned for more from Paper 1 and from Paper 2. Have a lovely day.